think the most compelling issue being addressed at the conference is the fact that there are so many people in our country that are either underemployed or unemployed today that could be employed with the proper training. The barrier is always resources and money. I've been most impressed with the diversity of who's there that I'm meeting with in the audience. I felt there was a tremendous amount of energy and enthusiasm and people with just great ideas. I think the key is to reach out to, to business and industry, determine what their needs are, and then uh, not so much talk about what you do, but what you can offer the business and the industry partner. The biggest um, struggle is that workforce connection, and um, I believe it's because we speak different languages. Uh, it's so important to recognize that when you're talking to companies that we, we have to be thinking and talking on their terms. In effect, the internship turns into a three-month interview. It works out, I think, much more in a much more satisfactory way when you have a, a community-based training organization that has a niche, that knows who it's training and what it's training for, and then they can engage the businesses that are in, in that sector. What motivates employers in partnering about career pathways is money. They really are going to want to do what's right for you, but we have to help them see how it's going to help their bottom line. And I think that it's important that as educators we set the path and we provide opportunities for career awareness uh, and career development activities. So the creation of these pathways means that we can give the students the skills they need, not just to get jobs, but to have meaningful careers. We believe that the support mechanism um, will create success because usually that's the difference in a student retaining and completing or not. You don't always have to have that high school diploma right away in order to enter into post-secondary education. And so knowing your student body, knowing your population, and knowing which combinations really benefit, that's the secret. By placing them in a work environment where they're getting a real educational experience working with employees from that particular company, they realized how the classroom relates to what happens in the workplace. That the ultimate mark of their success was getting the student through the program and getting the student employed. As a result, when that student becomes employed, they go back home. With the work that they've done to get there, they're not letting their children drop out of school. They're not letting their children do whatever they want to. Instead, they're changing the household attitude towards learning. To be able to see the powerful energy of all of the people really focusing directly on creating pathways and the real intense level of engagement is really a wonderful aha moment for the day. I think my biggest takeaway here is we need to make sure that employers are thoroughly explain to us the pathway our students need to go through so they get the skills they need to be able to get that excellent high paying job when they get to the workforce. It makes me feel good that we are actually doing what we need to be doing. You know, we're getting that reinforcement from people here. My major takeaway from today is that we have tons of different organizations working towards one goal and I think that if we start to communicate more in our different silos we can create a common language in order to help ourselves be successful in the long run. You know the presentation of social enterprise because we have a lot of those pieces there but seeing it all come together and especially the support piece after employment I think they, it's a really good thing to have that support. So I think my major takeaway is just that the variety of actors who are playing in this space or working in this space to advance um, the economic mobility of underprepared workers, you know, from transportation to agriculture to corrections to adult education and more traditional partners, and I think that's really amazing to me and really promising. And it's the idea of constructive collaboration. I think that that is so critically important and it's something that we're seeing at this conference and we're seeing that it's something that re has real results in our work away from the conference.